What's going on, everybody? Good evening, and welcome to Stock Sniper Trading live stream. Um, I'm your host, Ronnie, for the Asian Tokyo session. My man Dave is doing the New York session this week. And um, so tonight's call, we're going to break down the gold trade that we took last night and how it continued to run throughout the night. So we'll analyze that and then we'll get into our top down analysis on gold XAU USD and we'll get into scalping it on the five minute candlesticks. And this morning, uh, if you guys joined Dave in the New York session, he killed it. Uh, he got over 300 pips on a US 30 move and he also picked up 100 pips on gold. So shout outs to Dave. That was a big, big morning on the New York session. Um, and um, let's get into this, guys. So welcome. Um, so right now I'm on XAU USD on my trading view chart gold and I'm on the one hour candlesticks. So guys, I just want to go over um, last night when we were trading, this is where we took our buy entry. This was when the market was closed in the afternoon and gold opened up and then we opened up bullish. And once we broke 1793 yesterday, this is on during the call uh, where we got into a buy, we seen the hourly uptrend and we got up to on the call, we got up to almost 1800. It got up to 1799.80, and then it retraced back. It came all the way back. It was a nice pullback back down to 1796, where that was a nice 30, 40 pip move coming down, which was a nice healthy pullback, and buyers continued to come in. So this was at midnight last night. This was after our call, but we continued to give the targets. If we broke above 1800, um, and then with a retest right here, I told you uh, we were targeting 1803. We got up on the next hour, 1804, and then our next target was 1812 area and then we had 1818 and you can see that we got up to 7 a.m. Eastern time $1,815 so it was a massive move like if you look at all the pips going up if you held with a partial runner last night um, we seen we did all our analysis we seen how gold was very bullish last night and we had that massive move from 1793 that's to 1815, that's 220 pips on gold. And then it started to sell off during the New York session where it went, came right back down. And you see where we got down to today, 1790. So we're gonna be now getting into trading this guys. So welcome Doug, how, how are you? Um, so let's get started guys. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start with a nice clean chart, okay? And we're gonna move now to our daily candlesticks, okay? Like we always do, okay? Just to see, if in case you guys weren't around today, you weren't trading, um, we're gonna see what was going on, okay? So we all know trading every single day, gold hit that 19 up here, 1916, then we started to sell off. These are daily candles where each individual candlestick represents an entire day of trading. And then this is where we had that big, big sell off, okay? And then we reached support, daily support at 17.50. So I'm going to just put a support line at 17.50. And I'm going to change the daily can, uh, horizontal lines to yellow to represent daily support and resistance. And you can see right here, starting June 30th, we had one, two, three, four, five. We're in a five day uptrend, but now we're starting. This was what we traded last night. This was the daily candle. We traded it right here, textbook guys, right here. At 17.93, we had the breakout and this in entire bullish candle went all the way up the daily candle up to 1815 okay so we need to identify that high of yesterday's candle 1815 i had it going up to maybe coming up to 1818 right here but um, 1815 was perfect and we also had 1803 and we also had 1812 targeted okay and then you see when we hit 1815 long rejection wick so we have a lot of sellers here pushing the daily candle down and we closed it came all the way back down to 1789, 1790. See, we're retesting back like where we started. Okay, remember the bull move started at 1793, and now we came all the way back down to 1790, and we closed, came back up, and we closed at 1797. So we have to identify that close. And then today's candle right now, 
today's daily candle, you see we're trying to break above that high, 1797. And where can we go if we break above there? We're going to target possibly 1803, okay? And then maybe we can get back into this territory. But always remember, guys, this was a big daily rejection up here, okay? And then we're starting off bear. So sellers could have pushed this down and we could break below 1790 and continue to come down on the daily, okay? That's why we always have to do our top down analysis and identify these areas. What's going on, everybody? Yep, welcome. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to get some pips, but let's do our daily analysis and our top down, and then we're going to get started, guys. If you guys were on the call with Dave this morning, he killed it, guys. He got over 300 pips, three. 380 I believe on the US 30 sell and he got over 100 pips on gold guys so just to show you how the markets move when the US banks are open after a holiday you see the volatility in the markets and if you understand how to trade you can collect a ton of pips okay so um, amazing amazing day this morning welcome Eric Herbiljan welcome welcome everyone Okay, I hope everyone's having a great evening. We're going to we're going to get into this. So what I'm doing on my daily is I'm identifying these zones, okay? Um, right here I like 1787 I like body to body right here 1792 area because if we potentially come down these are going to be daily support levels if we come down and if we start to break above we have daily resistance so this will all make sense when we get into our scalping as you guys are probably real familiar now because you guys have been trading with us for a while so this is another area I like to target and we don't we don't have to add do every single candle you see here just the main ones and enough range for us where we're going to get into scalping okay and then if it comes below here like 1778 we can easily come down down here and add a few more daily supports but this is a good enough range to see if we're going to continue this daily uptrend or we're going to start to pull pull back and cool off a little bit um, and then we'll see there so um, uh, just identify from yesterday's candle it was very very bullish it was when we were trading it and after the call like I said leading into London session and London continued into New York but New York session is where the big sell-off happened on gold up here so we had the big sell-off in New York and we closed and we have this red daily candle trying to break this resistance right now okay and it's got a lower wick down here where the price came down and we do have daily buyers stepping in okay so now let's move to the one hour candlesticks right here okay so remember guys yellow is for daily uh, support and resistance and now we're gonna get into our hourly candles okay so this was that big move okay from last night's call remember here guys this is where we got into the buy at uh, 1793 right in here we this is where we took the buy and you see after the call we got up to 18, just below 1800 remember we said we were going to have a nasty drop right below 1800 and we did it came back down cooled off the RSI back down to 1797 96 okay it was a nice 30 40 pip pullback but then buyers stepped in right here at the daily support on the hourly and brought this up this was midnight guys this was midnight 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and this is the uh, London session, okay? And you can see it continued to make higher highs and higher lows up until 8 a.m. Eastern time where we hit the high of 1815 and we had the, the big rejection. Then here, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., you had the news drop during New York session, New York SC and New York Stock Exchange, and you had this big, big sell-off. Dave caught all of this and he caught it also on the US 30. So it was massive. It was it was amazing. So now you can see we're consolidating down at the bottom. Okay. So big move up, big move down, consolidation. So we're going to see, are we going to have a bullish move going up again or are sellers going to come in and continue to make some lower highs and push this price down guys. So let's get into this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chart our hourly candles. Okay. So right here, I want to get um, these bodies, okay? You can, see, and I'm going to change it to white, okay? So I do have an hourly support right here, body to body. Here's a body. Here's a uh, a candle, pin bar candle that closed above, and then we also have a 
pin bar candle. So we got a lot of action right here at 1795. Remember last night, 1795 was that critical daily area we were looking to break. Now you can see it's trying to hold as hourly support. Okay, 1795. It's a critical number, and you see when we were trading it. So if you can, if you trade every day and you start to get familiar with these numbers, you're gonna start to know the the way how gold moves, the support and resistance without even charting, guys, because you'll get so familiar and so comfortable with trading it that you will know the way how gold moves okay so 1795 is a good hourly support but if we do break below it where can we come down to okay so we want to grab some wicks down here wicks and bodies we could come down to uh 1794 and a quarter okay and when we're scalping this might be worth 5 10 15 pips plus we'll see what happens okay and the next one is 1793 then we have our yellow line 1791.63 that's daily support breaks down there then price is going to come down to 1790 right here that wick of the the noon candle noon eastern coming down then we this is where we picked up all the liquidity so we had a, ton, a, a lot of gold buyers step in at 1790 and push the price where we're at right now to 1797 look guys now we could be having a break right now a a so if we flip real quick to our five minute candles we could possibly see this breakout happening right here so i'm going to go to five minute candles guys right here Okay, so we could get an impulse break right here, guys. Um, okay, so just get ready. Um, here's our five-minute resistance right here. So price could get up to 1797.70 right here on an impulse break. Okay, see this red line? And then look what I'm doing. I'm looking left, guys. So I'm getting now 17. There's the impulse break, guys. Okay, so this is the impulse break. You guys know how we do things around here. If you like your impulse trades, you can grab some pips right here. Okay. And I'm just getting our targets where we can move to. Okay. Stop loss. Place it maybe just below the wick right there. This is your impulse trade, guys. This is the impulse right here. Okay. There it goes. This red line is TP. Okay. Right there. That's five pips. If it comes up to here, 1797.20 right there. 1797.70. Five pip move. Just tapped five pips, guys. Okay. Um, so remember, this is an impulse candle, okay? But what we're looking for is a nice close above this yellow line, close above that daily support resistance right there at 1797, and then maybe we can continue to move. But this is the impulse. We're also looking for the retest confirmation. You guys know how we do things around here, okay? So that's going, and I'm just going to get some targets on the five minutes where price can come to. Then we're looking for price to get up to... 1798.50 and then our white line up here 1799.22 that's our hourly resistance we break above that look how much look how much we can fill up here like these this is clean traffic this was the big big dump at noon okay and you can see if we start to get buyers in gold we can possibly come back and reclaim this area okay but there's a lot of selling pressure which pushed this down okay so you got to understand that that we could be um, picking up sellers up here and going down okay so this could be attempting to come up but it could make a lower high but I love this right now look at this bullish break guys okay so and this is just the impulse trade guys okay this is just the impulse see how quickly we got into this Mario what's going on bro let's get these pips you know this yep Mario's been a member with us since day one day one when we got started so shout outs to Mario my man uh, Dave and I appreciate you and thanks for everything, man. We 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 respect our day ones from so Mario, man. Thanks for everything. <laughs> okay, so see what happened here. We broke out 1797.51 right to that red line. Why is why do I have that red line there on the five minutes? Because look at all these candles that I'm identifying right here. We couldn't break above there. This was at 345, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time today, okay? So that's a nice little take profit right there. It's a five pip impulse, okay? So you can kind of scale out right there. Um, and then we're going to see we have 45 seconds left on this candle. Let's watch how it's going to close. If we can break and close above 1797.70, close above here, then our next area we're going to target is right here, 1798.05. Then we're going to try and get up to 1798.56. What if we can attempt to get back up to that 1800 psychological number? Uh, we'll see. Maybe we get rejected up there or we're going to break above it and we're going to continue to run to 1803, guys. Okay. 
just like last night's. This is pretty much identical to almost like last night's call, but um, we'll see like it, who's going to be in control of this session, the buyers or the sellers. But um, it's making its really, really nice move, bullish move right now. Okay, so this candle is going to close right now. Okay, let's let's see here where it's going to close. Okay, so we, we broke just above that. Okay, and then we got started to get rejected. Next candle, you see how they gapped it up and they, they opened it bearish, okay? This is like the start of a bearish engulfing candle or like a dark cloud cover candle. They gapped it up red and now they're pushing it down. So what we need is, because there's a lot of sell orders up here, okay? Remember, this is a sell block, a higher time frame resistance up here. So their sellers are trying to push it down. However, what we need out of this candle is we need buyers right there. See how we wicked out at 1797.47? It's still creating a higher low from down here. So we could momentarily get some nice buyers in here, but these buyers need to push this candle above 1797.75 and this wick so we can create a new higher high and continue this five minute uptrend, okay? And then um, we got into this call real quick and got into this trade really fast. So I still need to add um, my RSI on the chart. So one second guys and the reason why I use RSI is to judge strength and momentum I don't use it for um, like entries at a 30 and 70 overbought oversold I use it primarily for strength and resistance and to see the the midpoint 50 break okay because there we go see how it came down bearish we picked up liquidity here at 1797.40 and now we're pushing up okay so there it goes there's there's our next profit target right up there guys okay so it just hit our next red line 1798 okay um but we got up to 1798.23 okay so let's see look at the rsi now okay so you can see the rsi is getting up to 67 okay it's starting to get this was similar to last night okay so we're starting to get overbought up here we could see a push down guys okay so remember this was the impulse candle this is the candle with the retest okay so we need to keep these five minute candles above this yellow line okay and build momentum up here so that we can continue to make higher highs but we're starting to get rejected you can see it turned into now like a spin top candle okay it was bearish and then it started coming up bullish and now we're back to a spin top candle which which suggests indecision okay so this candle the buyers and sellers are really fighting for this candle right here okay because we're at like critical areas okay remember 1800 if we get up there it's that psychological number can we that's when last night we we closed we broke above it and we pushed okay it, it was no joke last night from 1793 up to 1815 nice steady bull run higher highs and higher uh, higher lows on a higher time frame it was really nice Okay, so you see now it turned into a bearish spin top, okay? So um, this was the impulse candle, uh, the impulse, this is the retest. See now how it's pushing down, back down to this area, okay? It, the yellow line, remember, is daily support, okay? So we're trying to get some daily support buyers here. We're trying to get some hourly buyers, okay? Remember 9 p.m. Eastern was an hourly open on a candle, uh, five minute buyers, okay? So if they, if, if, if scalpers and things like that, if, if traders can see that we're holding support on a higher time frame, then maybe we'll get some more liquidity, some more buyers, some more volume. But uh, RSI made its move above 50. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So why I placed my horizontal line at 50, okay? So that white line, go to coordinates, put in 5-0, press OK. And what that is, is it's giving me the psychological midpoint. In between 0 and 100 is 50. So what I'm looking for are bullish moves that are breaking above 50 right here. You see when the, the RSI broke above 50? This is when we got this candle move right here, okay? From 1795, you had that big momentum, this follow-up candle, and this candle. So if we started this call, like when we start, this happened right at 9 o'clock. I think, guys, we maybe have to start these calls at like 8.55, like five minutes earlier because we could have got into the trade down here at 1795 at this hourly support and we would have been up 30 pips right now okay but we just caught the tail end of this we just caught the impulse break with the retest right here okay and it's still good you can see for uh 1797.22 we got up to 1790 10 pips okay but 
look at where the move was down here when we're breaking 50 on the RSI, okay? So you see that? That's a nice move, okay? Um, and guys, always remember, secure some profits because this can easily push right back down and look for retest. But in the meantime, if you're up 5, 10 pips, start accumulating some pips for the night, you know? Get that confidence. It's um, it's just like basketball. When you're playing basketball, you, you get you get in the rhythm. You get a couple layups, you you know? You get in, then you can start moving. So it's just like basketball. Early on, you want to grab a few pips, get in the rhythm, and then we'll look for the bigger moves. But um, if this continues like last night to come, uh, make higher highs and higher lows we're gonna we'll be bullish on this and we're ready for it we already have our targets for price uh, where it can go okay but in the meantime if we're collecting a little bit 5 10 15 20 pips uh, scale out guys um, Bell, welcome. Uh, tomorrow is one year for you as well, so thank you for everything. Bell has been one of our day one members. Uh, she's been with us since day one, so we appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. BB King, what's popping, bro? Thanks for coming in. Uh, in which session gold is highly volatile? A, a good question, Eric Um Gold is volatile around the clock, okay? But during Asian session, Tokyo, it's, it's more of a consolidation session, but New York session, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten a.m. Eastern time. That's when Impact News comes out. That's where gold really moves. Okay, gold moves during New York. Okay, big moves, big moves. Look at this, guys. Okay, we're gonna come up to our next profit target right here, seventeen ninety eight dot fifty six. Okay. So, and then if we break that, look it, we're going to try and get up to this hourly resistance right there. Guys, this is steady pips right here. This is, grab some pips, guys, okay? This is beautiful, okay? Look at the buy right here, 1797.24. We're at 1798.72. So, it's it's a beautiful play. We caught the tail end of it, too. Um, if, we, if we started this call five minutes earlier, we could have really got um, in real nice and early, okay? And guys, I, I, I'm not a financial advisor, guys, okay? I'm just, uh, I've been trading the markets for over 20 years, um, self-taught. Um, so I'm real trader, you know what I mean? Like real candlestick trader. Dave and I have been doing this for a long, long, long time, okay? So, but we're not licensed financial advisor, guys. Um, trade at your own risk. This is for education purposes, but we try and get you in uh, good trades with risk and reward, and we teach you guys. It's interactive. You guys can ask questions. So I just got to throw that out there. Jans, my man, what's up? Jans, represent Toronto in the house. So we got a lot of Canadians in here. Respect to all the Canadian traders. Um, Canada is it's getting big now. Forex is growing in Canada. It's it's uh, it's really good. So uh, if everyone, guys, check out Jans FX. He's a solid trader. He does weekly analysis. Uh, shout out to my man. Uh, keep up. Uh, I love the work, man. So that's what we want to grow. We want to grow like a Forex community, guys. Um, and just learn and make some money and just have fun with this, guys. So thanks, Jans. Appreciate it, bro. You too as well. Okay, guys. So look at we just tapped now the white line. That's hourly resistance, 1799.23. Okay. So we have now two minutes left on this candle. Look at we're pushing, guys. Look at the RSI. Okay. You know, for all those traders that hit 70, it's pushing, guys. Okay. So we're at 73. But gotta expect maybe a little bit of a pullback. But this can this can extend. You know, this can have some. Look at that impulse. Like that's a beautiful move, guys. Yo, this is crazy. Like, guys, uh, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Like this, guys. Come on. We're, we're streaming two times daily for you guys. Um, Dave collected 500 pips today. Like, it was it was crazy in the morning, guys. We're already in this trade right now, 1797, okay? Up to, up to 1800, almost 30 pip move right here, guys. Just right at the start of the call, okay? BB King, what broker are you rocking with? Gold spread is crazy on. I use Fusion Brokers. They're based out of Australia. They are a solid broker. Uh, their commissions on a, are, are $4.50 on a standard. And um, I'll tell you the spread right now. So spread of gold is five right now, five, half a pip. So it's, I, I highly recommend them, guys. Fusion Brokers out of Australia. And they cater to Canadians. Um, they're really good. Um, it's, they have a new platform if you're from Ontario. We were with them from before, so we, we're in the old program with them. 
But um, if you guys have any questions, check out Fusion Markets, on, um, and uh, they have they have some wicked spreads, crazy spreads, good spreads. Like Bitcoin right now, we trade Bitcoin. It's at 2,600 right now. 2.6 pips on Bitcoin. We got half a pip on gold, and four four dollars and fifty cents for a standard lot. So uh, Fusion Brokers, guys, look at this impulse break, guys. 18. Look at this. Okay. So we got up to the next red line, guys. These are. Our red lines on our charts are take profits, okay? They're five minute price action, 1830 guys. So this is beautiful guys, but don't get greedy. Don't get greedy, scale out a little bit. If you guys don't know how to take partials, what I recommend is take out 70, 80%. Like for example, if you're in a standard lot at 1797, it just hit 1800. You're up 30 pips, 300 US dollars. Maybe scale out 75%, cash out and leave like a 0.25, a 0.2 runner, just in case it continues to move. But you're cashing out beautiful right off the hop, okay? So um, right there, guys, like this is a solid trade, okay? Um, we're breaking out, okay? But look at the RSI now, okay? So this is where we gotta look at RSI, okay? So now this is where RSI is at 76, 77. We are getting overbought right here. So we're gonna expect a nice, a red bearish candle coming down because there is gonna be a pullback, okay? You gotta understand, there's people taking profits. Uh, there's a sell blocks up here on a higher time frame. Look at this yellow line. What is the yellow line on my chart? That's the daily resistance, 1803. Remember I said we could be reaching up 1803? There's a ton of sell orders up here. This is a daily resistance. Like market makers, if they want, they don't want gold to continue to run, they'll put a ton of sell orders up here and they're gonna push it down, okay? So we, if we have the liquidity and the volume, this thing could still run. Remember last night's call where RSI was running up to 80 and it was still running? And then until finally we found some divergence on the hourly candles, that's when we started to scale back a little bit. But don't get trapped with this RSI, but you gotta respect it, okay? When it gets up to 75, 76, 77, 80, gotta respect it. And then don't get greedy, guys, okay? This was a trade right off the, right off the call when it started, okay? Good for 30 plus pips. Um, you know, a lot of lot of professional traders, they, they that's all they trade is 30 pips a day. They do a higher lot size and uh, they make their money daily. Like just guys, a little simple mathematics, 30 pips, standard lot, $300. If you can do that five days a week, that's 1500 US dollars, okay? Multiply it by four weeks, you're at 6,000 US dollars, okay? By making 30 pips a day, $300 a day. Okay, um, I'm sure that's good ch chunk of change for everyone in on this call to make an extra 6k a month, you know, and you can do look at what do we do this in 25 minutes, okay, we're not sitting at the computers all day all night, okay, you can get in, get out, make your pips, learn how to scalp these markets, guys, price action, learn candlesticks, we're professional candlestick traders, uh, we don't use too many uh, subchart indicators because they are lagging, but they do help, if you know how to properly use them, they do help, I use it for the moment momentum breaks at 50. That's what I use it for. Um, but I don't get into buys and sells just because it hits uh, 70 or 30. Um, okay, guys, this is awesome. Great call. I uh, wish I could get on Fusion. Yeah, so a, a lot of brokers we hear are difficult, um, but uh, if you guys can with Fusion, look them up. They're they are, they are amazing. We've been, we've been with them for a long time. Um, nothing but positive uh, stuff to say about them. Uh, like I said, commissions on a standard are $4.50, whatever you're trading. Uh, I just told you guys, the Bitcoin spread right now is 2.6 pips, 2,600. We were on the call the other day, someone had an 8,000 pip spread, eight pips on Bitcoin, which to me is ridiculous. Like if you're getting in a beautiful scalp for five, 10, 15 pips, and you're giving half away to, uh, for your spread, it's tough, it's tough to trade, especially scalping, I'm not gonna lie. So Bitcoin is 2.6, gold right now is at five half a pip, you know, so it's, it's, it makes real nice. So if you like those impulse candles, you know, those impulse candles where they go up five, seven pips. So if you only have a half a pip spread, you're, you're in profits. Okay. There's nothing, there's no, that's why I like like impulse trades when they're um, properly breaking out on like a, a, on a higher time frame. Look at this guys. We're in the 1801 guys. This is, this is, this is almost 40 pips guys. Okay. Uh, Mario, it's flying stop loss and profit trailing. Yeah, that's uh, perfect. See, Mario understands the game. So when it's breaking out, Mario collected, 
put a stop loss in profit and let it run okay and don't get greedy guys and then as it goes up you can continue to move your trailing stop loss like I would move the trailing stop loss right below this hourly support 1799.30 like right down there just in case it breaks down but if this holds this hourly then it could potentially reverse and continue to go but if you guys are happy with 30 40 pips cash out cash out you know we'll find another trade don't worry we'll probably catch a pullback here for 5 10 15 pips coming up Hugo's way they're good too yep there's another broker guys Mario is mentioning he's been using Hugo's way so that's another one okay so we're gonna try and target right here my my yellow right there we're gonna tap it 1801.70 okay so there it is 1801.70 okay and look at our sites continuing to move guys 80 81 look at our site continuing to go like that's why guys if gold wants to run it will run okay this could be a higher time frame breakout like we could look at the right after this run we'll take a look at the hourly candle and we'll see when it started to break out okay so right here guys here's that big daily resistance 1803.50 remember we did our top down we found it okay so here it's coming down now guys so this is where you could potentially be anticipating maybe a sell entry as soon as this candle starts to cool off and then if you do maybe place like your stop loss above the 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 daily resistance up here and maybe you might catch a 5 10 15 pip pullback but right now I'm watching price action okay and I still have a green volume candle and it's still being held at this support level on five minutes okay so this is continuing to to be bullish okay look at that beautiful breakout guys okay this was a really really nice trade um, I would have liked to get into the trade down here um, but if this was right at the start of the call, but we were reviewing last night's trade and got into um, doing our top down, but um, you can see where it started to break out right here, tested here, 1795. Like you gotta, you gotta understand the play started down here, 1795, and we're at 1802. Okay, that's a 60, 70 pip move, guys. Like that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, so here's now the pullback. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this up, guys, for everyone that has the partial runners. Okay, remember, if you scale out, leave a partial runner. We could potentially get up to 1803, but here we could have a pullback now. Okay, so if you're looking to, to scalp or trade the pullback, you're looking for the candle to break right here, 1801.70, the five minute um, uh, support. And then maybe have your stop loss placed like above that yellow line because you're protecting yourself above the daily resistance. Okay, um, you don't want a further breakout at that daily and continue to head higher, but you want to feel safe with a stop loss just above there. So you have now like sell orders in here and we're watching now for this bearish candle to come down. It could potentially come down to here, 1800.38 and um, that's another five minute support level and then if it breaks below there it could head on down to 1799 that hourly the white line hourly support right there okay but um, this is just to show you um, if you're if you're trading this type of rsi and you're looking for a pullback now identify the high of the rsi okay how high did it get up to it got up to 80.23 okay 23 mj right there okay so it's coming down now okay so um, we'll see how far down it wants to go because remember this was a big bullish run this could just be a small pullback and then could reverse bullish but this could it could really come and cool down we'll see okay maybe i've got a bad batch of hugo 30x a 7000 but it could get the job done for now i suppose yeah if you if you, bitcoin moves okay so remember the one night we were trading bitcoin and we caught that that dump for 75 pips okay so even if you are with a broker with that 7000 spread 7 we got to look for the bigger moves okay you got to you got to understand that so but bitcoin moves okay we find 30 50 70 100 pip plus moves on bitcoin all day long okay bitcoin really likes to move um uh, right after this maybe we'll chart bitcoin too but i really like the way how gold is moving tonight like um it, it consolidated a little bit and right on the call it just started to break out real nice okay so and guys if you have any questions these are awesome solid questions guys okay if you got any broker questions spreads things like that um lot size 
um, this is the place to ask, okay? And Dave and I do our best to answer everything. And if we don't know it, I guarantee you someone on this call knows. We got a lot of our sniper members on the call tonight, and um, they can answer questions as well. And guys, just to let you know, like uh, the U.S. Independence Day, like it was, markets were slow. And you've seen today during, New, I told you, watch the what's going to happen in London session leading into New York. There was big, big moves, big moves. Like um, you can catch a lot of pips, guys. And follow, guys, forexfactory.com. It's a great site. It breaks down everything that you trade, the British pound, the euro, uh, US dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand, everything. And it's got all the impact news in different folders. Um, it tells you the different uh, red folder, orange, yellow. It tells you what's coming up for the next day so you can get ready for your trading. Okay, so we got 10 seconds left on this candle. It's coming down bearish, okay? Look at the RSI now. RSI could come back down to 70 here, but just like yesterday, it came down to 70 and reversed. And then buyers stepped in and pushed it right back up. Okay, so it came down. Where did we close? 1800.90. Now, if you're still in this pullback, if you're still in this short sell right now, you got to watch now because buyers could step in here to try and push this up. But what you're looking for now is a wick to be formed up here where more sellers right there are going to push this down and break the low of the candle. And we're coming down to this area, 1836. And guys, this is a nice like profit area, okay? Because the trade, the sell was up here, 1801.73. If we tap down here, 1838, that's you're looking for a nice move down there okay you're looking for 10 plus pips that could be a 15 pip move okay so grab 40 here there's 15 55 pips on this call okay and you still could have a partial runner still here with a break even stop loss down here because if this reverses like last night remember when it, it shot up 220 pips Okay, so you got to respect that. But if you want to scalp this and grab some pips right there, watch now for if this breaks below 1,834, price could come down to this wick right here, 1799.96. Okay, I'm just going to lay it out for you guys. Okay, this is real price action. Okay, this is trading live um, candlesticks. And then guys, when you get really good at this, get a little bit more advanced, we're going to scalp the one minute candles for you guys. Okay, um, and show you how they move. That will be a, a fun, fun call, guys. Okay, so here it comes down to this area. There it is. It's going to tap 1799, 1800 right there, okay? So the sell right there, 180170. There's 17 pips right there, guys. You can scale out, take full profits if you want on this pullback, okay? Remember, we're counter trading. This is a counter trade, okay? So the original trend is this bull uptrend making higher highs and higher lows this could be just a pullback but if you grab 15 20 pips on a pullback secure them okay these pips add up for real 40 here 20 there 60 okay guys that are trading standard lots that's 600 us dollars okay even if you're trading a 0.1 guys a 0.1 a dollar pip 60 us dollars right there okay it's a we, we can really help you guys grow your accounts we can help you guys accumulate, grow your accounts, compound. If you guys are interested in those FTMO challenges, funding talent challenges, uh, a lot of our members are passing them. They're fully funded now um, at $100,000 accounts. And they keep 80% of the profits on the elite accounts and things like that. So there's a lot, lots going on in the Forex world, guys. You guys are killing it what's opinion on volume indicator yes good question i personally i uh, when i'm trading stocks um i i use the volume indicator because i'll, I'll um for for some of them it works um uh, other uh, when you're trading forex uh, sometimes the volume doesn't work but um let me see here if i have it uh volume see on the gold on this one it doesn't show up but i'll show you on another pair on this call see how it has no volume data on it for gold here um I'll get it on another one for you, but volume is a great indicator because um, what it is is if it's 
they're vertical bars they look almost like candlesticks so obviously the green ones are buying volume okay but you got to understand it a little bit more than just buying and selling volume you got to understand it with the bid ask okay i can do a tutorial on this as well so look at uh, just right here we're breaking below 1800 price could come down to our hourly support right here at 17.99 and a quarter okay it could drop another seven eight pips down here guys okay um but going back to volume so if it's green it's buyers are slapping the asking price asking okay that will create like when this trend went started to go real bullish i guarantee you if we have the volume indicator it was going green that means that buyers of gold are hitting the asking price they want to get in okay they're not they're not trying to bid they want to get in they want to get they're, they want to get this run, okay? It's kind of like FOMO, fear of missing out. So they're hitting the asking price. That's what's causing it to go up. If you trade stocks, you'll really understand this. And then if it's red volume, like right now we're getting red volume, what it could be is short sellers. If you know how shorting works, they're selling up here. But if they want to end this pullback, what do they need to do? They need to buy, buy back. So they could be hitting the bid, the bid okay because they want to get it, they they shorted it up here but to ma maximize your profits they want to hit the bid and get the bid going so it drops down lower so that they get the best bang for their buck okay that's what the bid price is and that's what causes the red volume okay so good questions guys these are good great questions volume works really well with when you're trading stocks in the stock market um also works with forex but some of these like saxo i use some of them don't display the volume okay um some do um but uh great questions Bob Chino, what's up my brother okay you will it go to 1808 yeah, good like we're gonna see you know like that's why we do our technical analysis we did it we did it properly last night it was I said if it breaks 1800 we're going to 1803 1808 18 I thought 1818 at the top but we hit 1815 so we collected 220 pips from the 1793 buy so we'll, we'll we did our top down we see where it can go but this is a critical area where we're at right now. 1800 is that heavy psychological number. So we're going to see, can we close above um, 1800? Can we hold this as support and continue to move up? Or are sellers going to come in and push this down below 1800? So we'll review it right before we end the call. But for now, we're, we're dealing with 1800 right now. It's a psychological number. We could consolidate around here for the next hour. We, we don't know, but we'll see. Um, but uh, and then we'll see if bullish I'll, I'll review the daily candlesticks again at the end of the call and we'll see if we're going to head on higher. But yeah, uh, I'm 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 bullish on gold. Like I think it, we can break. We had a nice break to 1815. There was a nice pullback on the daily came all the way back to 1790. We had buyers step in and now we're at 1800. OK, so this is a this is a, a psychological area that we need to um, break above and close above it on higher higher time frames. Okay, so this was the pullback, guys. Okay, so see how it came down all the way down here. Good for 15, 17 pips, like I said. But don't get greedy, guys, if you're counter trading, because next candle could be a bullish engulfing candle coming engulfing this and continuing to move back up. This could be a reversal and going back up. So if you have your partial runner in the original buy, um, that was your pullback. You can scalp that too. Okay. So if you're in an original buy here and you want to scalp it, that's why I love scalping because you can scalp everything. The, 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 you can scalp the uptrends, the pullbacks. You can do the continuations with retests. Like you can, you can really accumulate pips. Okay. Scalping is, it's amazing when you really learn how to do this, especially with gold, with Bitcoin, with US 30, with NASDAQ, like stuff that are that move. OK, you can really, really clean up. And we're doing this during the Tokyo session right now. OK, Tokyo's are notorious for not being that volatile. OK, New York and London are the volatile sessions. But um, it's when you learn this, you can scalp 24 hours around the clock. OK. But guys, again, if you're new here, 11 guys, um, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Help us grow this channel. It's a lot of free education, guys. We're going to do webinars, live webinars. We're going to do tutorials um, um, and uh, <clears throat> live trading twice a day. Okay, It doesn't get any better than this. And if you want to join the VIP team to get some trade alerts throughout the day, online tutorials, 
private mentorship with Dave and I on Zoom calls where we can really, really help you guys grow as traders, then um, head on over to Stock Sniper Trading. It's a dollar a day, guys. It's not much. It's a buck a day. That's more for you guys to show commitment that you guys are committed and you guys want to take your trading to the next level because pretty much everything that Dave and I do is here on YouTube. But if you really want that private mentorship, the online tutorials where you can take your trading to the next level, learn some new strategies, ask us questions. Um, if you want us to review trades that you guys have taken, you, you made a mistake, things like that we'll analyze it for you we'll give you feedback we'll we'll help correct your mistakes okay we all make mistakes but it's learning from them that matters yeah hopefully that answers all your questions guys but um so now what i'm looking at okay so remember this was the pullback but if you're still in this pullback trade, what you're looking for is the buyers to push it up, but the wick of the candle got up to 1801 here. If it continues to make a lower high and sellers push it down, then we could continue to come down, back down to this area. But if we hold this white line, 1799.23, we're holding hourly support on the five minutes. Then we could see maybe a reversal, but look at the RSI, okay? That's where it dipped. At 80, it came all the way down to 63, and now we're picking up some more momentum, okay? So remember, anything above 50 to 70 is considered bullish, but this could be a healthy pullback, and we're cooling off the RSI for the next injection of buyers, and we could we could make a new higher high and head higher, okay? But if you grab those pips on, on the pullback, then that's why I always tell you guys, like, don't get greedy. That's a counter trade. I, it, this was a really nice one. It was for almost 20 pips, okay? Normally, counter trades are 5, 10 pips. But if you're grabbing these ones, you got to be scaling out, guys, okay? Especially on a, on a big bullish breakout like this, okay? Because just like last night, you don't want to get trapped, okay? It continued to run last night. Then finally, we got that pullback, like, right when the call ended. But we, we pushed all the way to 1800 to get that pullback, okay? So if you continue to hit the sell button when we were starting getting that RSI getting high, um, you prob possibly would have lost some money or... Um, hit your stop loss okay so that's why we let price action dictate the the momentum okay so we've seen the pullback this was the bullish candle get up here but these wicks are creating a lower high from up here okay so sellers are still trying to push this down now you have an open of a red candle could come down and retest this level but if this starts to come up then right up here, then we could be breaking a new high at 1802 and continuing to head higher, okay? Then this counter trade, this pullback will be canceled, okay? But the pips were made right here, okay? These two red candles. Okay, so I just want to show you guys the hourly candle to show you where the hourly candle started to break out, okay? So this was... Right here, when we started the call, okay, um, nine o'clock. See where it dipped down, got picked up at 1795. That was just before the call started, okay. See how 1795 was my white line? This was hourly support, okay. So that was a nice momentum grab to come down here. We had buyers push it up, and look at the RSI on the one hour. It was right at 50, and that's where we got that bullish impulse break at 50 and this is where we get that big green candle that we just traded how high did it get up to it got up to 1802.11 now it's pulling back we have 13 minutes to go on this hourly candle because it's going to close at 10 p.m eastern we'll watch where it closes and where our next one hour candle can uh, continue okay and look at the hourly we still have room to run okay it's only at 55 on rsi okay so this still has momentum on the hourly candle so we could potentially get up to and break 1803 maybe later tonight 1803 that's that daily resistance and then for um my man that was asking about 1808 here's where it can go up to okay so next break if we get above 1803 look at your next hourly candles right up here 1806 okay you get above 1806 we're coming up to here here's 1808 and just right there okay so we could potentially get up there yeah there's 1808 okay there's 1808 1809 uh, 1811 okay you can see the direction where it can move okay so back to the five minutes 
Okay, look at the pullback, guys. Okay, so the pullback now is turning into a reversal. Okay, that's why I always tell you guys if you're counter trading the pullback, 5, 10, 15, 20 pips, take your profits. The bigger, the, the bigger play is trading with the trend. Remember what I always tell you guys, the trend is your friend. If you don't feel comfortable trading these red candles, sit back, relax, be patient. The pullback might last 5, 10, 15 minutes. Remember, you're trading five minute candles. You're not trading hourly candles. Um, grab a drink, you know, take your profits here, go to the washroom, do what you got to do, um, have a smoke, come back and watch the reversal because you can get into another buy right here where it's at that hourly support and you're watching it. Now what we're looking for is can we break above these two wicks right here and create a new higher high and then we're going to head on to 1803, that daily resistance, but we need we need uh, momentum, okay? So we need momentum to be pushing. Again, we're approaching 70 again, okay? So sellers could come in and start pushing it down right here, and we could be creating like a lower high on this RSI, and then a lower high on this candle, and we might get a bearish candle coming down, okay? Depending, but we gotta watch. We need a close above here. It will be really nice. I'll, I'll identify the area for you guys right here, okay? These two wicks, uh, these candles, because we tried to break above there two times and we got rejected. That's what started that, but now we're continuing to move right back up, okay? So I'm going to get rid of that pullback trade, okay, because that was good for, I told you, 15, 20 pips, but I'm more interested in this, this play right here, okay? So um, our strategy is, my strategy when I trade is, if I get into the trade here, I go up 10, 20, 30 pips, I scale out a majority of my position, and then I leave a small runner, just in case it comes back and reverses, I'm back in profits, I'm continuing to let it run, okay? That's where you can make a ton of money. If you catch those 100, 200 pip runners, um, and you have the small lot size with a break even stop loss or just above it covering your commissions and everything then it's a risk free trade no emotions those are the easiest trades to to be in okay you could also walk away from the computer go and watch the basketball game They're like you made your 30 40 pips right there leave a small runner and go watch the phoenix milwaukee game okay and then come back and look at it at midnight just like last night then you'll be surprised when it's at 1803 1805 1815 where it ran to okay and that's where you collect some solid pips look at the breakout guys okay so watch here we could get an impulse break right here at 1802 okay if this rsi can break above 70 and we can get back up to 75 or 80 back to this resistance you're going to see a nice breakout right here and then look at the profits guys we could be coming up to this yellow line 1803 okay this is beautiful but just watch the break because we have a lot of resistance here on the five minutes. We could get rejected here, but remember, strength is strong. It's at 70, okay? Um, a lot of people think that just when the strength gets to 70, they think it's weak. They think it, it, it needs to sell off, but it's actually telling you that it's, it's strong right here. It's just, it, there's this saying that when it gets 70, it's considered to be overbought, but it's still got strong momentum, okay? There it goes, okay, so we're breaking out now. We have, it's still early in this candle, three minutes and 30 seconds, um, but you can see right here, this, <laughs> scalping is amazing, guys. Okay, you can grab 20 pips on this counter trade, and then the reversal is right here at 1799.50, and then price is right back to 1802. There's another 20, 25 pips, okay? This is easily 100 pip scalping right here, okay? And look how clean, uh, this is what I'm talking, look how clean gold is moving tonight, okay? You don't see too many spin top indecision candles. They're all clean, volume filled, bullish and bearish bodies, okay? That's when you identify these type of price action candles, they're, they're easier to trade. When you get a lot of this type of consolidation, small range candles, identify it and walk away from your computer don't trade this shit okay if you see it box it in and look for the breakouts okay um right here like what you could have done is if you were trading earlier on you could have identified this area that it was not breaking out of this zone this is all accumulation distribution we broke out impulse break it came back down spin top candle and then this is where we had that bullish candle move up and then this is where we had the breakout and this is where we got into that trade okay if you identify that, guys, you guys will just watch your trading accounts grow and your bank accounts grow, okay? It's just, and learn patience and discipline. Dave and I cannot stress that enough. You don't need to trade every single candlestick. Guys, it's all about quality over quantity of, of uh, pips, okay? Quality over quantity. 
be, be selective, okay? Especially when you're scalping, okay? You're the boss. You can pick when you want to trade because the candles form every five minutes. So look for the best ones that are suitable where you're having nice breakouts, higher time frame breakouts with strong um, uh, momentum. Look for maybe a breakdown at, a, at a, da a daily or an hourly support where you're getting strong momentum to the downside, where you're getting RSI breaking below 50 and continuing down to 30. I guarantee you, you'll be catching 10, 20, 30 pips on those plays all day, okay? Okay, so we're, we got up to 18.02.50, okay? So we're almost at that 18.03 target, okay? That was, and that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful like profit area because look, this was our daily resistance. We just broke 17.97 and now we're coming up to our next daily resistance, 18.03, okay? You can see that that's a 60 plus pip move, okay? And we're bouncing now from the daily zones, okay? So on five minute candles, okay? So that's really good, but we could start to get rejected up here, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to come up and hit 1803. Sellers could possibly come in here and start pushing this down at this daily resistance, okay? And then if you want to look at 15-minute candles too, okay, because we got a lot of traders that trade 15-minute candles, look at what the 15-minute candles are doing, okay? So we had our, this is the RSI break at 50. We have this nice bullish momentum on the 15-minute candle, and now it's kind of consolidating, but it's now the 15-minute candle is also breaking out of this area, okay? So 15-minute candle still has some, it's at 65 RSI. It still has momentum to possibly get up to the 1803 and break above there, okay? And if we break above there, our next hourly area is 1805, 1806 area, and um, uh, possibly like that 1808 area where you were asking for that, Babu. <laughs> okay, but um, we take it we take it candle by candle, guys, okay? Um, this is what scalping is, okay? But we also like to know the higher time frame where price action can move. But you also gotta respect the fact that if we can't break above these daily zones, then we're gonna expect pullbacks, okay? And we could be seeing that. Look at now, this is um, where what is called divergence, guys, okay? So um, from this candle wick, this could be another pullback coming, guys. This could be the stronger pullback, okay? This is where there's divergence now. Okay, see this white line? Price action from here to here, price was making higher highs. If you plot the same area on your RSI indicator, look at how it's going down, okay? So the, the price action is going up, but the strength is going down, okay? So we could start to break down here and have sellers come in and push this down. But if this RSI now, this is like a trend line, this is like a trend line. So if this RSI breaks above this white arrow and continues to go up, then it's breaking that divergence, okay? Then that divergence will not be in play, okay? Because as long as the, the, the RSI stays below it, then we could be coming down with a bearish candle. But this acts as a, like a trend line, just like when we're drawing trend lines on our candlesticks, similar to this, okay? So what you're looking for, if you're bullish on this, you're looking for this RSI to break above it and continue getting up to this level, to 80. But if we start breaking below it, okay, here's your support level, okay, on RSI. This is what I do with RSI, guys, okay? So here's my support on the strength right there at 63. If this RSI comes down now and breaks 63, it could potentially come down to 50, and you're going to get a big uh, red candle bleeding down here, okay? And it will possibly come down to um, right over here to 1800 and then back to that hourly support 1799, okay? So um, this could be another counter trade developing, okay? So just keep an eye on that. Um, Antonio, what's going on, brother? What RSI are you using, bro? This is the the, the standard RSI on TradingView. Uh, its default setting is 14. I don't alter the setting, okay? Some traders put it at 9 and others at 21. If you put it at 21, it moves a little bit slower. If you put it at 9, it moves faster. It might give you some false signals, but I leave it at default setting 14, okay? It's, it's standard on all trading platforms. RSI, Relative Strength Index, default 14, okay? 
But guys, this was an awesome call so far, okay? Um, I really enjoyed it. It's only been uh, one hour, not even one hour, guys, okay? But look now, okay? So price action, guys. Don't look at our side right now. Look at price action. We had a bearish candle come down at 1801.73 and now we have a rejection wick coming up and now the candle's turning into like a, a pin bar candle okay so we could get more momentum to try and push this back up to this 1803 but it's turning now into a spin top candle okay so that's why you got to follow the direction of the candles guys that's why you got to learn your candlesticks um, it's like learning your ABC's okay if you want to learn the alphabet you got to learn ABC okay same with candlesticks you got to learn what are the characteristics of a candlestick? Number one, you got to learn the open, high, low, close. That's, yeah, you have to know that. You got to know that. Like, I know it seems very basic, but you got to know that, okay? If you want to take your trading to the next level, you got to know what that means, okay? Um, then you got to know your, your, your real basic candles, a bullish and bearish engulfing. Then you got to learn what a hammer, a shooting star is. Then you got to learn two bar candles, a dark cloud cover, what is a piercing line. Then you can move into patterns and things like that. I haven't even talked about patterns on this call. M&Ws, extended M&Ws, head and shoulders and things like that. We're going to get all into this with you guys, drawing trend lines and things like that. Really take your trading price action to the next level. Technical indicators are nice to use if you know how to use them, okay? Um, and we'll go... Guys, I really want to do a webinar with you guys, like starting with the basics and then we'll have topics and then we'll every week we'll continue to move with those and uh, you guys will learn a lot about price action okay then when I'm when I'm talking about a bullish pin bar you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about and um, if you guys want to take the trading to the next level like a lot faster for a dollar a day join the sniper team guys stock sniper trading.com Dave and I are here to mentor and help you guys you guys can see that we're real traders we're not these forex gurus promising you um, you're going to be a millionaire. We're showing you live trading. We're taking trades ourselves. We have MT4 tickets with commissions to show everything. Full transparency, no BS. Okay, We're here to really educate and help you guys. Um, you guys, if you've been with us for the past couple weeks, you can see that it's interactive. You guys ask questions. We, we answer all your questions. So... Um, we, we appreciate you guys. Thank you. And thanks for everyone for subscribing and liking these videos. It helps us with that YouTube algorithm. We want to start trending. We want to be the ones there when you go search live Forex trading, live stock trading, um, we'll pop up. So that's our goal. We want to we want to stream two times a day, guys. What we're doing right now, New York and Asian, we'll do pop-up London sessions with you guys. We'll show you the different volatility throughout the all different sessions, how to scalp them, and uh, you guys choose around the world what session is best for you guys, okay? I know everyone is, uh, for us, it's 10 p.m. Eastern time, okay? Around the world, it's all over the place for everybody. So maybe if you're in Britain right now, it's not suitable to be trading this time until London session opens, but... For us, London session open is 3 a.m. Eastern, so a lot of us are sleeping at that time. That's why we trade New York. Yeah, remember RSI 14 is the last 14 candles. Absolutely. Yeah, so you want to understand that RSI is last, whatever you put it on, it's your last 14 ver candlestick bars, okay? So I really like the last 14. It's really nice for scalping. RSI 21 to me is just too much um uh it's it's good if you're if you're if you're trading on a higher time frame but five minute scalping i find 14 hour size is perfect i don't know i've tried the different um default settings i've tried 9 14 21 myself i just feel personally i feel more comfortable with 14 everybody's different you guys that's what back testing is guys you can always back test um always back test strategies trading view has the back test button where you can just try all different strategies and then apply it to your live trading and if you guys are trying a new technical indicator something you're not too familiar with you're changing a default setting go a tiny tiny micro lot size to test out a strategy you don't got to trade with your normal lot size when you're trying something new okay only trade with your your a lot size that you're comfortable with when you're comfortable with all of your technical indicators you've you've practiced them you've mastered them and um, that's when you, you can you don't want to start with a, like if you're not familiar with stochastics and you add stochastics on your chart and you don't know what they move uh, what they do like if I add uh, stochastics right now uh, right here, stochastics RSI. If you want, we can use this. Like, in, um, what it is is you have a percent K, percent D. You have a fast moving over a signal line. Your blue line is your fast moving percent K, and then your orange line here is your signal line. It kind of works like kind of like MACD, where you're getting 
bullish and bearish crossovers, but it also has um, its oversold and overbought territories. Stochastics runs on 20 and 80, whereas um, RSI runs on 30, 70. But again, it can continue to run. And you're also looking for a divergence with RSI and stochastics and things like that. So there's so many indicators that you can use and each indicator has a different purpose. There's not one that's better than the other. It's just whatever you're looking for. Some are strength and momentum trend indicators. Others are volume indicators. Um, so you just got to understand what, what you're using. And then you have main chart indicators like Bollinger Bands and Fibonacci retracements and things like that. So there's so much you can do with trading, guys. But if you want to keep it simple, just trade candlesticks, real-time price action. Dave and I really, really enjoy trading with just uh, vertical candlestick bars, like with nothing other than that, okay? A naked chart, we call it. Um, but I like to use RSI um, just for strength and momentum. You guys see how I use it, okay? And I'm looking for this divergence. See now, okay, we have now this spin top candle. It broke up out to here. We made a high of 1803, exactly 1803, okay? So 1803, we had our daily resistance right up here at 1803.50, but we hit 1803. That's psychological number 1803, okay? from the buy signal all the way down here at 1797, 60 pips guys, okay? So now we could possibly start coming back. You can see we start, we're starting to get indecision and RSI could be cooling off here. We have this red candle coming down. As soon as it breaks right here, this five minute red line, 1801.76, our five minute support, we could see price action come dip down, back down to 1800, okay? Let me just get rid. Of, I don't want to. Um, I'm just going to get rid of a few things. I don't want the chart to be too cluttered. Okay. And then for the after the call, if you guys are going to continue to trade, uh, we need gold to stay above 1800 on the five minute frame. Okay. We need it to stay above. It could possibly pull back, consolidate up here. But going forward, if we can hold above 1800 then maybe we're going to test again the daily candlestick where the high of yesterday we went up to 1815 you know we might be filling that wick tonight okay but we'll see okay um it's hard to say right now you know um london session is a if it is a different session new york is also a different session okay so but if you're happy with this trade you got 60 pips total on the buy. We grabbed 20 on the pullback. Here I told you there's another divergence pullback right here. So this one, as soon as it starts breaking down, could come down here. You could catch another 10, 20 pips right here, guys. Okay. So just understand what's going on. Okay. And then if you still are running with that partial runner down here with that break even stop loss, then you're you're still in profits, okay? And you can scale out whenever you want, okay? If your MT4 is blue. That's up to you when you guys want to scale out profits, but you don't have to take out your entire position. You can part take partials, okay? So um, that's what's good with trading. You can you can take some partials. Same with if you're trading stocks. If you buy ten thousand shares of something, you don't need to flip your your entire ten thousand shares. You can sell five thousand and keep five thousand as a runner, okay? A lot of those guys that are trading AMC that bought in at five dollars, ten dollars, okay? It's at fifty bucks right now. They're still holding partials from when they bought in the bottom and they're just leaving it with a runner because if it runs, it runs. If not, they've already cashed out their their big profits, okay? So they leave a little runner. Same with Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin is a prime example, too, where you want to keep some runners because if you catch the trend on Bitcoin, when you know when it's bullish and bearish how Bitcoin moves, you can catch a ton of pips real fast, okay? Okay, so here's the pullback, guys, okay? So what did I tell Let me just um, pull this back a little bit, okay? I want to show you this play right here, okay? So it was coming up. We got up to 1803, okay? So 1803 is that psychological number. And look at the RSI. We came down, we pulled back. It came up, but it created a lower high from 80. We got to 73. And now they just dumped it below 70. It's coming down. Look, it's testing 63. That's support level, and here's the breakdown. Now, if RSI breaks below 63, it's got no other support but to come down to 50, okay? And then I told you, you're going to get a big red bleeding candle coming down. So 
you're looking for a cell entry like right around if you here's the impulse like 1801.75 okay and this could pull pull down come back down to 1800.40 right here this was previous five minute support and then here's your other one the wick of this candle okay and if this continues to come down our final support is this white line this is our hourly support 1799 okay but 1800 is that psychological number but when we've seen that divergence up here remember when i had the divergence set up from here to here and then we had it from down there to there now you look at your price action we're getting a spin top candle which showed it was bullish coming up here but then we had sellers push it down and we closed with a very thin body this is a neutral candle 50 50 no one is in control but then the next candle went bullish again. It created a lower high at 1802.87. The spin top candle was at 1803. That's a lower high and pushed down and we closed right there. This was the retest candle really breaking down where RSI can break this support at 63 and really come down, okay? And then if you're, if you like what I, uh, like example, what I show you was short selling, okay? So if you're taking the short sell, okay, Guys, this is how I trade. So if I take the short sell, I'm placing my stop loss above the yellow line to be safe above the daily resistance. And then I'm looking for my profits to come down to these red lines, hopefully down to this white line. And if I'm if it's really bearish, then it will break down at the white line, the hourly support and continue to dump. But if it's a nice little pullback for 5, 10, 15, 20 pips, I'm going to collect my profits, okay? And I could we could do this all night, guys, okay? So that's this is like how I have my chart set up. Just like when we got this one right here. Do you remember when we took the sell here? I had my stop loss placed above the daily resistance and it gave it some breathing room, but then when it dumped for 15 20 pips right here, grab your profits on those two five minute red candles but take them because remember the trend is bullish we came up we reversed we made a higher high on this spin top candle okay remember that we made a higher high from down here okay so this could be another pullback where we could get buyers stepping in again and pushing it right back but if these candles continue to make lower lows and lower highs it's going to push down and come down here okay it's um it's it's really simple actually when you guys really understand how this moves okay and you guys are going to really perfect your craft with us daily doing this okay cheers bro cheers yeah man uh and let me know guys are you guys in profits again thumbs up if you guys are in profits uh dave and i we we need feedback too you know like um uh, I, I like to see you guys making money. I like to see you guys learning. If you guys are getting value out of this, you guys are making some money on the side, that, that makes us, you know, like it really gives us the motivation to do this two times a day. Like um, it's not easy to, to stream like this live two times a day. You know, some days we're tired and things like that because we do sessions ourselves and we're also with the snipers and things like that. So um, it takes a lot of work to do this, guys. Um, and we want to continue to do this for you guys. So just simple, guys. Subscribe. Maybe share the videos to your friends if they're interested in learning how to trade. We do everything. Stocks, options, um, Forex. Um, and like the videos. Um, hit the notifications too, guys. Um, don't forget that notification bell. Because I we do a lot of pop-up streaming with Dave and I. Where we'll just get up. We feel like trading. It's not a scheduled trade. But we like the way the market's moving. And boom, we get into live trading. You guys don't want to miss that. Okay? Because Saturday nights, like if we're bored, we'll get we'll scalp Bitcoin Saturday nights. We'll have nice sessions like on weekends. Yeah, Nathaniel profits, buys and sells. So that's perfect. Okay, so you're you're scalping the markets. Okay, that's 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 perfect. That's all you got to do. But again, guys, just understand that this could be a pullback. Okay, so the the sell 1802, it came down to 1801. That's a 10 pip move, guys. 10 pips. Okay, you can't. You got to understand what the what gold is doing. Okay, so if you grab a 10 pip counter trade, a 10 pip counter trade, that's 20. But the overall trend is moving bullish. This could be another reversal. We could be picking up liquidity right here at 62, 63. We could be getting some strength and we could be coming right back up. Aldo Farias, thank you, brother, for subscribing, man. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. 
What time do you connect on London session? London session will be 3 a.m. Eastern time is when we when we do London session. Like I, I get, that will be we get up at 2:45, 2:30 a.m. Eastern our time. Like it's in the it's the worst time you know for us. But uh, sometimes I we enjoy trading London. Okay, uh, enjoy the way how the, the the market moves. Sometimes guys we do sessions like on these calls where we do Tokyo Asian. If 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 um, we're feeling good we'll have a five six hour session leading right into to the London session like with non-stop we, we might take a little intermission 15 20 minute breaks um, for everybody but we'll, we'll continue we want to stream like um, big sessions with you guys to show you really uh, like how the market moves in a in a 24 hour period um, that is that is awesome okay so when you can see that and then you see the price how it consolidates where it really moves where the market makers have their little head fake moves and where they really dictate the markets that's when you're watching that live that's 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 where it's at um, and you see a lot of those moves in London and New York is crypto trading uh, is crypto trading dependent on your broker because I cannot seem to find it on my MT4. Yeah, yeah. Um, some brokers don't provide BTC USD. Um, some do, so that's all. You got to search for a broker that provides it. Also, spreads is another thing when, when you're trading Bitcoin. Um, I believe, guys, if you're using a demo account, I, I don't quote me. I, I I'm not too familiar. But if you use a demo account, can I? I'm not sure if you guys can demo Bitcoin. Um, it might have to be with live on some brokers. I don't know. Um, I don't use a demo account, but if someone can fill me in on that. Um, combined with Dave's call on tonight's awesome buys and sells, it's been a great day. Yes. So, you know, my man, Dave killed it this morning, guys. He got over 300 pips on a US 30 sell, picked over 100 on the, the gold. So, it was a solid day. And then our trade alerts, too, they were running, they were hitting. Um, we grabbed pips last night. We got pips on tonight's call, guys. So, everyone is eating. Everyone is feasting on pips, guys. Snipers are eating. <laughs> So we want you guys to eat as well and learn and earn on every single call. Uh, do a grinder GBP Euro red folder plus USD red folder days. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We also love um, doing the NFP days for gold. Um, those are crazy, crazy days. I, I love trading NFP for gold. So um, yeah, we'll do grind sessions. My favorite pair, bro, is uh, currency is GBP USD. I love that pair. Um, we'll do that one night. I really want to do that with you guys because I know a lot of guys are interested in gold and Bitcoin. It's the hype right now and like scalping that. But guys, if you really learn how to trade currency pairs like Euro USD, GBP USD, GBP JPY, they have real clean technical analysis. They have real clean moves. Um, I really, really enjoy trading those. Dave enjoys the currencies. We'll do those as well with you guys. We want to offer everything for you guys. Uh, BB King, my man, you killed it. Big dubs. Yeah, thank you, bro. We appreciate everything, man. I hope you guys are getting value out of this. This gives us, Dave and I, the motivation to keep going, giving you guys more and more. We're going to do webinars too, okay? So I'll fill you guys in on that. Um, might be like... Um, if we, if we stream like this week, 9 p.m., maybe 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., we'll do a webinar. And I'm going to start you guys off with, with the fundamental basics, okay? A lot of you guys already know it. Maybe if, 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 you, if you already know like your high, low, open, close, your bullish, bearish, engulfing, you know it. But there is a lot of traders that are still unfamiliar with how candlesticks move, okay? So I'm going to start off with the basics and then we're going to move, okay? We're going to learn the entire candlesticks. Um, catalog program the, and then we're going to move into teaching you guys support and resistance order flow uh, supply and demand um, market makers where they put their order blocks that's another thing that really helps volume analysis that's huge it was mentioned on this call volume is huge guys understand volume okay that's what I'm always saying on these calls a liquidity buy a liquidity sell so you got to understand that's all dictated by volume um, and then we're going to move into patterns, okay? So do we see any patterns on this five-minute breakout, okay? When you learn about patterns, right here, this is like a head and shoulder pattern breakdown right here, guys. So let me show you real quick. This, guys, when you know what a head and shoulder pattern is, it's bare. So when you see it, here's the left shoulder right here. That's the left shoulder. Here's the head, 
up here, okay? This is when we got up to 18.15. This was today when we hit that daily high. And you see the five minute candles, we're making a head and shoulder pattern. We came down and we curled around and this is our right shoulder right here, okay? So we have a right shoulder forming similar to where the left shoulder is, right in here. Then what you do is you draw your support and resistance lines, okay? Right here is a nice level to draw, okay? Above and below, you wanna catch some candle bodies as much as you can right here okay and look at the breakdown this was the impulse break at 1810 came down closed right at 1807 there's a 20 25 pip impulse five minute candle but look at the retest candle it came right back up then it got pushed down right here rejection wick this is where you can enter again on the retest with confirmation and then look at it dump 1810 guys all the way look at it bleed bleed Pull back, lower high, get, look at, taken out on a yellow line, 1803, that's a daily support. Break, look at where it dumped down to, guys. All the way down to 1790 from 1810. That's a 200 pip move when you identify this head and shoulder pattern, okay? Not always uh, head and shoulder patterns are going to look like how they look on in a textbook, how they look on a chart, on like a, on Google an image and things like that. You're going to see some choppy, some choppy ass head and shoulder patterns, but as long as you understand what the price action is doing, here's a left shoulder, here's your head, and here's your right shoulder. And then look for your support break with a retest. That's where you enter. A head and shoulder pattern is bearish. An inverse head and shoulder pattern is bullish. That, when you see this start developing, you're, start, you're anticipating your trade. You're getting ready. And now you're just following the price action, okay? So that, right there, 200 pips, guys, on today's dump. Dave grabbed that on the live call. So join him on the live calls, guys. Um, he's doing New York session this week. I'm doing uh, Tokyo this week. Um, okay, guys, we're going to go about 10, 15 more minutes. I got to wrap it up. I got a few things to do tonight. Um, but this was awesome, guys. Okay, so we grabbed 1797 buy. We took it up to 1803, 60 pip. You could still also have a partial runner continuing, guys. Remember, you could have a break even stop loss down here. But also the pullback. So we grabbed 1520 on that pullback. Here was another pullback I explained. Um, so there was a lot of pips on this call. Uh, let me just see. Did I miss anyone's questions? Okay. Do you trade oil? We can. Uh, we can trade oil, guys. If you're not, um, if you're with Fusion right now, they also have um, now we can trade Apple. We can scalp Apple, McDonald's, Costco, things like that. Big board stocks like Tesla. We can scalp that with the leverage of the brokers, guys. So um, Fusion is taking it to the next level. Like it's it's pretty good. Um, hey man, can you do an analysis of Safe Moon? Um, I, I, the, the most I do with those is like um, Dogecoin, um, SafeMoon. I'm not too familiar with that. I've never scalped it. Is that one of those sub penny ones? Those, um, have, have you used the ATR? Average true range. Yeah, we can get into average true range. No worries. Um, all of that. Um, but the SafeMoon, uh, can you do a SafeMoon? Uh, SafeMoon Army, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, ATR is a really, really good uh, indicator. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over that. What's David's YouTube channel? Yeah, David's YouTube channel, Sniper Dave, is here at Stock Sniper Trading, guys. So just make sure you subscribe to this channel. And uh, you guys can also review it. Watch it. Um, he streamed it this morning. It's on our YouTube channel. Check it out. Dave trades um, similar to me, but maybe a little bit different. So you learn from both of us. Um, and uh, so and you can ask him questions, too. He's doing, And we offer you guys the different markets. But Dave's a solid trader, guys. Um, subscribe to this channel, and you guys will get both of us. Um, so everything is here. We're the co-founders of Stock Sniper Trading. We're, we're partners. We're like brothers. You know, we got each other's backs and uh, we trade together and we want to welcome you guys to the community. Um, but let me see, what, it, what is the ticker of this safe moon? Okay, because I personally have never traded it, but I'd love to scalp it if you guys are down. Um, let me just see if it's on the watch list. What is the ticker for this? Before we wrap up the call, guys, um, let's take a look at what the hell this safe moon is. <laughs> I know Dogecoin, we did that on a Saturday night and we, we, we traded that. It was fun, but give me the ticker for this the safe moon. What is it, guys? If I can't find it, guys, I can't trade it. Uh, 
Okay, is anyone going to throw the ticker down or no? Because if not, I'm going to go back to gold, guys. Okay, so back to gold, guys. Look at here, okay? So we got that pull back, okay? So it came down to 18.01, okay? So the sell, the, the five-minute support break was at 18.02.37, okay? And 18.01. So you can see it was, it was good for about 15 pips, that pullback, those red candles. But now you can see we're going bullish and we could be getting gaining this momentum to come back up on this reversal, okay? So just understand that we are counter trading with these red candles and we could potentially push up again we're looking like last night's call if we can get price action to break above 1803.50 and close above this yellow this yellow horizontal line then we're looking for price to get up to 1806 uh, 1807 and 1810 those are our next hourly uh, resistance areas Okay, guys. Um, yeah, uh, good shout outs to Safe Moon. Um, if you guys want, if you guys drop the ticker in here, we can take a look at charting it and we can also scalp it live for you guys. So, shout outs to the Safe Moon uh, community, guys. What? Um, all of them. There's so many cryptocurrencies, guys. Um, there's a lot going on. I'm just familiar. I, I, I'm, I've been trading Bitcoin for years since 2015. So, I, I love the way how Bitcoin moves. Look at Bitcoin, guys. Like, um, here's our charting from Bitcoin. You can see it's already charted, okay? Uh, we were trading this earlier, okay? Um, and look at this move right here. Like, if you catch this move, 34,400 down to 33,900. Like, that's a nice 50 pip move right there. See, one, two, three, four, five. Five red bearish candles breaking down. That's a beautiful bearish play, good for 50 pips. Here's the volume, guys, okay? So, um, if you're still on the call, uh, I can't remember who was asking about the volume. Here it is for Bitcoin, okay? So these are the volume bars, vertical volume bars. Here's the green meaning, meaning buying volume and it's buyers hitting the asking price. And now this candle that's coming down, it's got red volume. So it's like short sellers are selling and then they're continuing to hit the bid to continue to drop the price lower. That's what's causing red volume, okay? They're hitting the bid to lower the bid so that they can continue to push the price of Bitcoin lower, okay? Um, but then if buyers step in, they could start hitting the asking price to reverse this and pull it back up. Then you're going to start to see this turn into some green volume. So it's not always um, red is bearish volume and uh, green is bullish volume. It is, but understand that it's working with the bid and the ask price. And then if you have your level two analysis, you can start to see the orders and things like that um, if you're trading stocks and things like that. Okay, guys, so we're going to go about five more minutes. Um, what I wanted to do on the call was I wanted to go back to the daily um, for gold. And just give you guys a heads up where it can move later tonight and tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to go to back to the gold. Had an awesome call, guys. Um, great call. Collected our, our pips like usual. Okay, um, so this is what's going on on gold on the daily. Okay, so you can see we have some US folders in here. We do have news the rest of the week. Okay, so could affect the price of gold. Look at now, okay, so this is when we started that uptrend on the daily. 1750, we moved up, we started to make higher highs and higher lows. One, two, three, four, five. You got six nice bullish daily candles, okay? Um, but we have yesterday's big rejection wick at 1815 come all the way down. We closed at 1797. Today we opened at 1797, came down, the pullback to 1790, and we pushed up, and now price got up to the yellow line to 1803 remember we just hit it on our scalp 1803 and you see the daily candle is now getting a wick coming down to here 1801 okay so we're gonna follow this daily candle going into London to see can this volume of this daily candle break above 1803 and then we can carry momentum to get up to 1805 1807 and then 1810 and then what we're doing is we're filling the yesterday's wick Okay, but remember, this wick came down pretty uh, heavy. It was a pretty, pretty heavy rejection. So there is a lot of sell orders up here on the daily. Okay, um, uh, we'll see where it comes down. Okay, so, um, but we're holding good daily support. Okay, so we could be moving, guys. And then from the daily, drop down to your hourly candles. 
take a look at what the hour candles are doing okay so let me just reset this chart here it is okay so we had this is the candle hour we traded this very very beautiful bullish candle this was 9 to 10 p.m here's 10 p.m candle okay so you can see it's almost been 30 minutes in and we're getting a bearish candle coming down okay we're getting rejected at 1803 and we're below the daily resistance on the hourly candles so we could see an hourly pullback and then we're looking for a pullback on the hourly maybe to to come back down 50 percent of this bullish candle and it's going to come down to 1799 our hourly support and then that's where we're looking for a reversal on the hourly maybe to flip back and go up we could be cooling this RSI down or sellers could be coming in and pushing this down okay that's why it's always important to understand what it's doing okay if this is coming down bearish on the hourly if you're scalping flip to your five minute candles and start um, looking for some some sell opportunities and then this will be like another sell opportunity see the five minute candles right now see how they've developed a support level right here okay see this support right at 1800.89 so if this bearish candle comes down we break below 1801 right there price action is going to come down to 1800 there's five pips could possibly come down to 1799 that's like a total of 10 pips and then come back down to this hourly support okay so you could scalp this pretty easy and then what you're looking for is this rsi to break below 63 and come down to this 50 area okay so guys it's 10 30 p.m eastern we've 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 streamed for 90 minutes we scalped gold um everybody got uh, into profits i'm sure on this call whether you were in the buy you were in the counter trade pullback um I'm, i hope a lot of you guys uh learned something not just with uh making some pips you guys all learn and um we'll be continuing this i'll be streaming tomorrow night guys again 9 p.m eastern time join us subscribe to the channel like the videos share them with your friends and uh, don't miss out because we got a lot of exciting things coming guys so everybody thank you for tuning in and uh for everyone in the chat guys thanks for um keeping it keeping it moving it was good questions uh it keeps me talking you know and uh i can answer all of your questions guys and to the safe moon army what's respect join the channel maybe one day we'll scalp safe safe moon okay um have a good night guys and everybody take it easy be safe and we'll see you guys tomorrow night take it easy guys peace out